Hi guys, doing a little makeup tutorial this morning uh, with my Arbonne products and drinking my Fizz stick. Mm. Got pomegranate in here this morning. It comes in the value pack as one of your choices for flavor. So does strawberry and they are delicious. It's kind of like a replacement for your energy drink. Um, but again, I'm doing a uh, makeup tutorial. So I already have on my CC cream and I put on my hydrating lip balm. Let's see what the name of this thing is. My lip solve, sorry, not balm solve. Um, but I am going to go ahead and put on my concealer next. I'm going to apply it to my under eye, right here in between my brows, along my nose, around my nostrils, and down along my chin. And then I'm going to take my foundation brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend it all in, starting at my chin. And then around my nostrils. This is again a um, Arbonne brush. This is a vegan product. No animals were harmed during the process of making these. I'm just blending in my concealer with my foundation brush. I actually have a concealer brush in the mail. It didn't come in the brush kit. It needed to be bought separately. And it is coming with my cherry blossom kit that I'm really looking forward to, which is a lot of pinks and gold tones. Very excited about being able to put on a different face for all of you. Um, I have nothing to complain about the products that I currently have though. They're awesome. I really like both volume one and two of the eyeshadow palettes. I've just been really looking forward to this cherry blossom set ever since it came out. I wanted to get it the very first day and I held off because I needed to order some other things so I waited until I had uh, more of an order to place and I try to do that so it's not like every week getting a new order but if you want to be like that that's fine. Um, I am done with my concealer my next step is going to be to contour my face. So I'm going to take my cheek brush by Arbonne and I'm going to take my bronzer. As long as I don't break it. Um, hopefully it's all right. Uh, slippery hands. So I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush into my bronzer. And I'm going to work it along my cheekbone, up above my brow, and down along my jawbone. This is the three in the series of E and three. That is the easiest way to remember how to contour. You're basically going to make an E on one side of your face and a three on the other. Just makes it nice and easy during the application process. See? Now you can also go along your jawline. Some artists call this snatching your jawline. Snatching is more about like getting that tight look, that really slicked back appearance, almost like you have a facelift um, or you're removing your double chin. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that today like I am right now. I'm just kind of working it in. Make sure you blend it well. If you have a harsh line along your jawbone, it's gonna look like you have a beard. So blend, blend, blend. I'm also going to take a bit more and give myself a sun-kissed appearance. So I'm going to start in my hairline on my forehead and just kind of work the brush in. I'm not necessarily contouring, I'm really just applying the product so that it looks like I've gotten some sun recently. Then I'm going to dab my brush into my bronzer again and I'm going to apply it to my nose and lightly along my cheeks. And again, this is just so I have a nice sun-kissed glow. And now I'm done with my bronzer. My next step is going to be to put on my blush. And I'm going with Blush Merlot, 
which is a very rich red tone blush that we have. It's one of my favorites. Um, I think it's a color that is like universal, looks good on every skin tone. Literally the lightest to the darkest can wear a red undertone. It just, um, it blends well and it doesn't give that ashy appearance, but on lighter skin tones, of course, it looks very dramatic. So a little bit goes a long way. And I'm just putting it on the apples of my cheeks. If you have uh, issues with where to place your blush, uh, there are definitely lots of different techniques, different styles, but one way to get your basic blush appearance is to smile and you'll get the apples of your cheeks. They rise up and that's the apple of your cheek and you just want to apply it directly onto the apple of your cheek and then go ahead and blend it in. Make sure both sides are even. And now the blush is on. So we've got our concealer, our bronzer, our blush. Next step is we're going to do some eyeshadow. Now I really like to do go lives because then I can talk to you guys about what you want to see. Um, if you want to go ahead and comment below and let me know what you want to see in a future video. I am going to go ahead and do something um, more basic just so that you guys have an understanding of how simple it can be. So I'm going to take the primer and I highly recommend using products like primers, especially my product like my Arbon primer because it's vegan and cruelty free. It's really good for your eyes, um, but it creates not just a barrier, but it adheres the shadow and it gives it a longer lasting appearance. So um, throughout the day, sometimes eyeshadow will like self blend or it'll fall off so you don't see it as well. And this gives it something to hold on to. So this is the Prime and Proper Eye Makeup Primer. Comes out on a nice little applicator and you just need to apply a bit to your eyelid and then smooth it out. Okay. So I'm just going to take my finger to smooth it out. I just want to blend it so that it's a very light layer. You don't need too much of this. Again, it's something for your eyeshadow to adhere to. So it's going to have like a tacky texture to it. And that's exactly how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to have a light tacky texture to it. Okay, so now that I have that on, I'm gonna choose between volume one, which is my nice yellowish to red tones, or I'm gonna go with volume two, which has a lot more of um, pinky to stone tones. I think I'm gonna go with my pinky to stone tones. So I'm gonna go with volume two. I'm really liking prism and opal, um, it's one of my go-to colors lately, so I think I'm going to do it nice and easy today. I'm going to take my large brush, I'm going to work it into opal, which is the middle color here. It's kind of a an iridescent shadow. It's got shimmer and it's nice and soft, so you just take your large uh, blush brush, I mean the all over, this one's called the all over eye, and then you want to Tap it onto your eyelid. Just lightly tap it. And it'll adhere to that primer. Both eyes. Nice and easy. Okay, I'm going to take the pencil. What am I saying? I'm like totally not with it this morning. 
You know what, I even did my morning routine out of order. I really wanna make this video for you guys and I really want your comments below because I want to know what you guys want in the future for future videos, but um, I'm kind of messing up a little bit with the things that I'm saying and I apologize. Um, so I'm gonna just finish up here. The last thing I'm gonna do is put on my eyeliner and I'm not using a pencil, I'm using my slant liner brush, okay? And I'm going to take Sapphire, which is a blue tone, right here. Whoop. Sapphire. And I'm going to dab my brush into it. And I'm just going to work it into my lower lash line. And I'm going to create a nice line underneath my lashes. It'll make them look fuller from a distance. And up close, you'll be able to see the color. And it'll really make your eyes pop. Same thing on both eyes, just working it into the lash line from the underside. And that's it. Nice and simple. Didn't do too much extra work today. Um, basic face. Again, contour and blush can really make a difference in your overall appearance. And the placement is nice and easy. E's and threes and apples of your cheeks. I will talk to you soon. Again, comment below, find my links to my social media, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and comment. I want to stay in touch. Talk to you soon. Bye.